Hi, I'm Linda from Ballardy's Body Blitz. Welcome to Chisel It Total Body. For today's workout, all you need is an exercise mat. If you want to advance any of the exercises, you can put on some light ankle weights or hold on to some light dumbbells that I'll be demonstrating without. We're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna be doing lots of interesting combinations with up and down moves to get the heart rate up, but we will predominantly be focusing on sculpting and predominantly lower body, but there will be some push-ups in there and some abs as well. So we're gonna get started with some warm-up exercises but if you need more of a warm-up if you're in a colder climate make sure you do that and come back when you're ready okay let's start with some squats so place your feet approximately hip width apart or a little bit wider your feet can be slightly turned out and I just want you to come down and up so bring your elbows down towards your knees and squeeze up through the glutes and I want you to slightly hinge forward at the waist with a flat tummy and a flat back down and up squeezing through the quads, squeezing through the glutes as you come up and as you get warmer you can sink lower. Just make sure you're always using your glutes to squeeze at the top and it's a motion as if you're about to sit in a chair. So you're slightly tilting towards the back with your glutes. That way your knees will never come out over your toes. A few more like this. We're going to try and keep the pace quite fast today in order to keep the heart rate up. But if it's too fast for you, then just slow it down to your pace. Go for four, three, two, one. Now I want you to bring a knee up and push your hand down in opposition. So it's down and push. Bring your knee up, keeping your supporting leg bent. So you're trying to keep a bend in that leg and also keeping the weight in the heel of the supporting leg. If you can, bring your knee up all the way towards your chest and push down with your arms as if you're pressing something downwards. You're squeezing through your triceps. Make sure you keep placing your elbows to your knees so that you know you're going low each time. Heart rate is coming up. Keep going. Breathe through it. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come down and kick diagonally to the back. Kick. And this time press out wider with your hands. Press to the side. Diagonally 45 degrees to the back. Making sure we always have our tummies in and our back is super flat. Weight is in the heels. Come low. Back. As if you're shutting a door behind you with your extended leg. So you're flexing your foot. Go for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're going to turn our feet out even more, like a plie position, and we're going to stay on one side. So we're going to come down and sweep. Come down and sweep. So I want you to sink lower. Weight is still in the heels. And then bring that leg across as if you're sweeping a straight leg over diagonally towards the other side. So don't bend, make sure you point your toe, come down low and really open up. You're using your arms in opposition and you should feel this in your waistline as well. Across, across, sweeping with your inner thigh. Keep going, simple moves, lots of repetitions. So they're easy to follow, but really great for toning those muscles. A few more like this, across, across. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Now same thing, but out to the side. So it's down and out to the side. You can reach towards that leg. Your feet are still turned out. And as you sink low, I want your inner thighs to feel this. So really open up as wide as you can. So this time you're going to be feeling that in the obliques. This is a move I do a lot because I really love it. It works so many parts of the body. Keep going, extend that leg, point the toe. Weight is still in the supporting leg heel. Long levers. Across. A few more like this and then we're going to combine those two. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now go sweep it and side. Sweep it and side. All the way across and side. Sweep and side. So feel your waistline with both of these raises. Ringing out the waist and obliques. Coming down low each time and side. Sweep and side. Blow the air out here and here. A few more like this and side. Sweep and side, let's go for four. And up, three, up, two, up, and last one, and up. And just because we can, we're gonna come down low with our fingertips to the mat, and we're going to bring our leg behind and sweep it up, behind and sweep it up. So we're just tapping the toe behind the other leg and then kicking it to the side. So I want you to think about keeping the weight in the supporting heel. And if you need to hold on to something here like the seat of a chair or even some yoga blocks, do that. It's across and out. So once you have this, I want you to really exaggerate the across. Bend your supporting leg, exaggerate the across and then really kick up to the side, side side. Keep going. Across. Across. So you're just tapping your toe down. Your predominant weight is in the heel of the supporting leg for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now come up, go back into that turn now position and we're just going to sweep this leg across. So this is a balance challenge. Get the heel, the weight in the heel and sweep across, across, across. Bringing that inner thigh across, remembering to turn that leg out, turn the knee out 45 degrees and try to stay low in the supporting leg, weight in the heels, sweeping the inner thigh across, bringing out the waistline Arms in opposition, across, across, across. Come on, I know it's wobbly. This ground is really uneven, so I'm wobbling all over the place, but that's good. We're recruiting extra muscle fibers. So if this is too much for you, hold on to a chair with one hand and then just keep going with the other hand. Go for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're doing the same sequence to the other side. So wide stance, and we're gonna start down and across. So the first few are gonna be wobbly. Get your balance, and then think about sinking low and sweeping across. Arms in opposition to ring out that waistline. Knees are wide and you need you to come down low to activate the inner thighs. 
sweep. It's okay to lose your balance. Just hold your tummy in and try to pick a focal point in front of you that's going to help you. Breathe out on the up and really make it deliberate. A deliberate jagged sweep across. Low in that plie lunge and really make sure the weight is in the heels. You're not leaning too far forward, but a little bit, making sure you've got a nice flat back. Go for four, three, two, last one. Now back down and we're gonna shoot our leg up to the side. So kneecap to the front, wide plie, deep plie, and come up as high as you can, really feeling the oblique activating here. Get the leg up and squeeze your muffin top. Down, heart rate is up. Come on, gotta make it even. A few more like this, and then we're gonna combine them. Be really strong with your arms. This is where you can hold on to weights. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now combine it. It's across and up. Sweep across and up. Deep breaths here, focus. And as I said, if I ever go too fast, slow it down. I'd rather you have good form and good range of motion than go too fast. Are you feeling your inner thighs? They should be stretching down here. Across. Side. Total body move. For six. Five, four, three, two, last one, finish it. Now remember that sweep across, so we're going to tap our toe and then bring it out to the side, up, up, tapping down kicking to the side. You really need to make this cross happen, keeping the weight in the heel of the supporting leg and really keeping your back flat. If you can't keep your back flat here, use the yoga blocks or a step or anything that you can ele elevate your hands on. Then shoot out to the side, keeping your kneecap to the front. So it's exactly that same side motion that we did standing. Up, up, squeeze that oblique as you kick to the side. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Come back up and we're gonna sweep across and we're going to try to keep that balance. So it's up 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 weight is in the heels and we're sweeping across trying to keep the weight in the heel of the supporting leg and really feeling that twisting action in the waistline cross across remember you're trying to lead this with your inner thigh so keep your foot turned out point your toe and really sweep Sweep. Keep going. The lower you sink in the supporting leg, the more you're gonna feel that outer thigh and glute. Breathe. Tummy's in, neck is nice and long. Cross, across. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
two and one. Awesome job. Okay, we're going to do some push-ups next. So I'm going to turn sideways. What we're going to do is step to the side so that our feet, one is facing the front and one is facing the other side. Then we're going to come down and we're going to bring our leg up in the air, cross it to our other leg and come down into a push-up. Then come back up, come forward and up. Okay, so that's our push-up. It's up, it's down. So it's a down dog with a leg raise. Then here you pivot and then you come back up. It's down, it's up, glute raise, bend your leg, glute raise, forward, pivot and up. Down, you're stretching your inner thigh as well. Up, pivot here, stretch the inner thigh, come up come back down make sure you always pivot so you've seen this one before but what we're doing this time is bending that back leg which makes it tougher up bend up pivot now if you can't do the full push-up like this then bring down your knee come down and then shoot back up okay so find a way to do this move it's up, bring down your knee, get your chest all the way to the mat if you're gonna do that option, pivot and up. And here the glute raise has to be super high, chest down, up. Keep your tummy pulled in and your back flat. Up, forward up. Come on, we've gotta do a few more. It's up, it's down. It's up, it's pivot up. Let's do six more. Up, down, up, forward, pivot up. This is five, down, bend. Really squeeze the glute there and up. This is four, up and up. Pivot up, this is three. Straight arms in that down dog, glute raise. This leg always stays straight, it never bends. This is two, up, down, up, forward, up. This is the last one. We're staying down after this one. Down, up, forward, up. So then now stay down. And I want you to bring your foot there and just do those push-ups all the way down to glute raise. All the way down to glute raise. Not many, I know these are tough. <sighs> Breathe out on the up, arms are straight. All the way up, down. Five, down, six, down. Seven, down, eight, down, nine, just one more, down, ten, stay up. I want you to cross and shoot up, cross and shoot up. Stay in a down dog position with your upper body and make sure your knee is turned out to the back. Shoot it up, cross behind the knee, shoot it up cross, shoot it up, toe to the sky, blow out on the up, arms are straight, make sure your supporting leg is straight, shoot it up, shoot it up, come on, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one nice job come back up and we're doing that to the other side now so make sure you give yourself some space and we're going to do the same thing so we're starting with a side lunge down pivot this foot bring the back leg up bring it to the inside of the knee come down glute raise in down dog step forward pivot the foot and stand up it's down 
It's up. It's down. It's up. It's step, pivot, up. Come on. I want you to feel the stretch at the same time as the strengthen. Feel the stretch in the inner thigh here. Come low. Feel the stretch here in your hamstring. Come down. Squeeze your glute. Feel your arms stretching and come up. Again, down, pivot up, cross behind. Remember your options. If you can't do the full push up, come down on your knees, okay? It's up, so this is what it looks like. Down on your knee, back up, pivot up. This leg never bends. It's up, it's down, it's up. It's forward, pivot up. Come on. This one gets the heart rate up. You're using your upper body. You're using your abs. You're using your lower body. You're stretching and you're sculpting. A few more like this. Up. Up, down. Up. Are you squeezing your glutes at the top? Very important. Squeeze here, up, down, up. Let's do four more. It's up, down, up. This is three. Up, down, up. This is two. Up, down, up. And this is the last one. It's up, down, up, step through, come up, and we're coming back down. So we're just gonna do those ones. Up and down. Up and down. Try to stretch here and all the way down. Up if you need to on your knees and down. Up and down, six, and down, seven, and down, eight, and nine, and 10, and, okay. Now stay up, cross that ankle, keep that down dog position, and it's up, down and up. So arms are straight here. You've got a really straight supporting leg, stretching your hamstring, and your moving leg is turned out, squeezing that glute at the top. Poke that toe to the ceiling. Deep breaths here. Make sure you cross behind the knee every time. Up and up, up and up. Keep going, you can do this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Fantastic. So now we're moving on. We're going back to the first side and we're going to get some abs involved here. Okay. So come to the side. I want this foot in front and the other one behind and we're going to do like a side plank move. Okay, so I want you to reach over and bring your hips up and then come down and reach over, bring your hips up and then come down. So we're starting with this move and then we're going to add on and down, over and down. Really make a rainbow with your obliques over and down. You're gonna feel this in the shoulder of the supporting arm. So make you sure you've got nice alignment there. Go for six, go for five, four, three, two, one. Now what we're gonna do is from this position, we're going to turn and place our hand down and we're going to bring our leg up and then lower down, shoot our leg up, come back up and turn. Then we're going to do two of these. 
one, two, reach. It's come down, shoot your leg up, come up, forward. One, two, reach, plant it, shoot your leg up, come down, all the way down, raise it, come up, and over. One, two. Now, if you can't do this move, then just stay up here and just do these. Two, up and up. One, two, up, down, up. One, two, these are adding up fast. Up, down, up. Two more, one, two. It's up sideways, up. One more, one, two. Plant your hand, this is a side plank, down, up, stay down here. Raise it, raise it. So you're facing kind of forward with your chest, lying on your chest, but your hips are open. So it's an outer thigh and glute raise. You can come up here if it's too tricky, if you don't like that position, but if you can, stay down here with your chest down, looking to out and squeezing your glute up up keep squeezing long legs legs eight seven six five four three two and one fantastic job so that one was kind of tricky but we want to be doing all these interesting functional movements because they are going to help you to build muscles in places you never knew you had them. Okay, so we're doing the same thing again. We're gonna come down, we're going to put the foot in front and make sure you plant your shoulder above your wrist and then come up. We're gonna reach over and dip the hip down as we bring our elbow to the hip, down and up. You're trying to keep the bottom leg straight and the weight is evenly shared between your front leg and your supporting arm, over. This is stretch sculpt, so really reach, over, over. If this is unachievable for you, you can do side plank, okay? Do this one instead. But even if you can just do a few like this, I'd like you to try. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. Now we're going to place our hand here. We're going to sweep up our leg and lower ourselves down. Then we're going to raise that leg. Then we're going to pick ourselves up, put our leg there and do two of these. One, two. Plank it, side leg raise, lower yourself down. Raise it up, push yourself back up, foot over. One, two. So here, it's almost like a triceps lowering. Your arms should be close to the side body. So you're using your triceps predominantly to help you up. Two, plank it. Keep your body side on here, lower it, up. So your chest is facing down, but your hips are facing at a diagonal. Okay, so here, keep your leg open, lower down, up a little bit more push up, plant the foot, one, two, come on, you can do this, come down, it's raise it higher, it's push it up, plant the foot, reach, one, two, let's do four, it's up, it's down, it's up higher, it's up, it's planted, it's reach, one, two, it's up, it's down, it's reach higher, it's up, it's planted, it's reach, one, two, it's up, it's down, it's up higher, it's push up, planted, reach, dip, 
two. This is the last one. It's up, it's down. It's up higher, it's up. It's planted, it's reach. One, two. Now come all the way down and just bring the leg up. So chest is forward, but your hips are slightly turned. It's a glute and outer thigh raise. Remember your option. If you prefer this, you can do this. Nice old school move. Otherwise, chest forward, hip turned out. That way you feel it a bit more in the glute as well. Keep breathing. We're nearly done. We're just doing some abs and then we're done. This was super simple. Not. <laughs> Definitely not on the mind. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Okay. One ab move. We're going to switch sides as we do it. So it means that you don't have to do it on both sides. But we have to really fight for it. So hands are going to be slightly facing out by your hips. We're going to bring our hips up and reach over across the body. Then come down. Reach over across the body. Then come down. Then walk yourself forward. You can jump if you like. Elbow, elbow. Jump if you can. Reach, reach. Walk yourself forward. Elbow, elbow. This is all it is. So you can jump or you can walk it. So this is walking, walk, walk, elbow, elbow, walk, walk, reach, reach, or jump it, elbow, elbow, jump it back, reach, reach, forward jump, elbow, elbow, jump and back, really reach. I need you to reach further back, elbow, elbow, and reach, come on, forward, forward, back, elbow, elbow, again, forward, elbow, elbow, let's do four more, up, up, elbow, elbow, and again, this is three, up, nice heart rate move, elbow, elbow, forward, this is two, up, elbow, elbow, and this is last one, up, up, elbow, elbow and just because I'm super nice hold the plank hold the plank bring your knees together feet together push out of your shoulders tummies in try to tuck your hips down a bit a little bit more catch your breath eight seven six Five, four, three, two, and one. That is it. Child's pose back, separate your knees. Stretch out your arms. Oh, that feels good. Bring your arms to the front. Stretch away. Stretching the side body. To the back. Stretch away. So you definitely would have felt the stretch element in that workout. Bring your heel to your glute. So you don't need a super long stretch. As with all of these functional training workouts, you will see a lot of long lever movements where you will feel stretched and lengthened throughout the workout. Bring your leg up. Just bring it in. Hamstring stretch. And then Bend that leg and then stretch this leg away towards the back. So it's a hamstring and inner thigh stretch. And then come up and cross over. Hold that knee in. 
Make sure your glutes are on the mat and just look away. And then just switch that up, other side. And come back down and push that leg away. So it's towards you, but also away. So you have to kind of lean forward a bit so you don't tip towards the back. And then just bring it in like a hamstring stretch. And just bring your heel to your glute, stretch your quads. And then come into a cat cow stretch. So it's all the air out up and down. Again, blow the air out and down. And last time and down and just finally sit down, interlace and push in front. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my chisel it total body workout. I hope you enjoyed all that functional training, those up and down moves, and I'll see you at my next segment.